I'm ready. Tonight, my goal is to ignite your journey to enlightenment by asking you a question. Where does fire go when it goes out? My name is John Clement. I'm a professor of forest fire management at Sioux College. The question is a koan. And koan is symbolized by this question mark here. And it's uh, dedicated to my hop keto master, uh, the late Doug Davis. And he would teach with koans. So what is a koan, you might ask? A koan is a Zen Buddhist precept that has a question, a story, um, but it doesn't, it's not able to be solved with rational thinking. So, the question in the koan, where does fire go when it goes out, implies a destination. Where does it go when it goes out? A destination implies a journey. So tonight as we attempt to try to solve this question, I want to take you on a journey to hopefully start the process of enlightenment. So, where does fire go when it goes out? This fire go into the colorful beauty of a flower. If you look at this picture, there's the colors of fire, the oranges, the reds, the yellows. Where does fire go when it goes out? Does it form the beauty of the fall colors? Here again, this, this slide looks like fire with the brilliant reds and oranges, all the color of fire. It's like a celebration at the end of a, a beautiful growing season. Now, does fire go back to the sun? There are people on the planet that think that fire comes from the sun and goes back to the sun when it goes out. Now, I'm more of a scientist, so let's look at some hard science for a second. In order to have fire, we need three elements as symbolized by the fire triangle. We need oxygen, heat, and fuel in the right proportions. You take away one of those, and fire goes out. So let's look at the fuel. I have a slide here of the forest, but the forest is not only, it's not the only fuel. Has anybody ever heard of human spontaneous combustion? That kind of gives me a little bit of pause. Now, what role does oxygen have to play? Oh man, oxygen, fire is like it's alive, it's breathing. And again, when we smother the fire, we take away the oxygen, it goes out. But where does it go when it goes out? Here's the answer. It goes into the heat of the chili pepper. All right? Has anybody ever bitten into one of those? They'll know exactly where fire goes when it goes out. One of my students told me, sir, I think it goes to the fire tetrahedron. And I love it when students come up with things that I've never heard of. So I said, what the heck's the fire tetrahedron? And he said, oh, it's just a fire triangle with a chain reaction in the right conditions. And this student was very close to getting the right answer. Now, as you saw, I transferred fire from the lighter to the candle. So, what is fire? Fire is the combustion of a fuel which produces heat, it produces light, and it produces smoke. So, fire is energy. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. And I love this slide because it talks about green energy. And is fire not green energy? Think about it. So, in order to answer the question, where does fire go when it goes out? Where does fire come from? Well, you take a fuel and you heat it up to its ignition temperature, and then all of a sudden it bursts flame. Where did that flame come from? Did it come from within? Has anybody got anything to say about this slide? Hmm. It's that fire in the belly, isn't it? Two matches on a matchbook. So, where does fire go when it goes out? My last slide is of the Empyrean spirits dancing in the Empyrean heaven. So, if you want to continue the journey to enlightenment, 
and try to answer this question, Google Empyrean Heaven. Thank you very much.